Hello and welcome to Read Right Now. This week I'm at the Ballynockin Cookery School in the beautiful village of Ashford in County Wicklow. In this series, we're challenging our learners to try something new. And today is the turn of Kathleen Breen from Dublin. Now she sets out to prepare a three course meal to restaurant standard. I can't wait. What's he in the building? Well, he went to Westford, his you can't program. underestimate the amount of preparation that goes into cooking a meal this good. And for Kathleen, this will be no different. As with all types of learning, she'll have to start with the basics. For Kathleen, this will involve things like organising a trip to Ballynockin, planning the menu, getting tips on the best ingredients, and finally, typing up a menu so that our guests know what they have to look forward to. It sometimes helps to get guidance from an expert, and Kathleen has done just that. Let's see how she's getting on. Hello. Hello. How are you? Hello. Hello, Kathleen. How are you? This is Kathleen, our master chef. We'll be talking to you later on. And this is Kathleen, our yes. our learner. It's yes. lovely to meet you. You're nice the highest to meet you hat too. in Ireland. I know. It's as if you've been crowned queen or something. <laughs> <laughs> what are you? What are you? What are you cooking today? What are you cooking? Um, well, we're having butternut and apple. Uh, soup to start. Butternut? Butternut. This I've never heard here. of butternut at all in my life. Butternut uh, squash, is that what it is? It's the family, you know, of, of um, the squash family. The squash family. And, and pumpkins, pumpkins and all those yes. things. Right? And, and with apple, uh, what's that going to taste like? Is that going to be kind of very sweet? It's zingy. Yeah. yeah. It's lovely. Zingy? Uh, right. Yes. Mm. All right. And uh, then we're having rack of Wicklow lamb. As a main? As a main core. And then uh, poached pears and uh, shortbread uh, Biscuits in between with and a nice And who's on this sauce. for? Friends of mine. Friends? Yes. I'll get to meet them later on, I presume. You will, and I hope you'll join us. I will, of course, join you. And I'm going to give you a hand. I'm going to give you a hand yeah, cooking. please do. Actually, I do like cooking. You do? I oh, do. Good. I'll even take good. this off and put on a hat. Oh, great. I promise. <laughs> I'll get stuck in in just a moment. Uh, later in the programme, we'll be giving you some helpful advice on filling in forms and reading night course guides. We'll also be explaining the difference between computer hardware and software. But right now, as promised, I'm going to give Kathleen a hand with some peeling, some chopping, and some slicing. All right? Okay. So what do I do? Do I wash my hands? Do I take off my... Here's a spelling tip on some words ending in ing. For the ones we're looking at today, there's something very important we have to know first, and that's which letters of the alphabet are vowels and which are consonants. The reason we need to know this is that it affects the spelling. Remember that there are 26 letters in the alphabet and only five of them, A, E, I, O and U, are vowels. All the other letters are consonants. So, A, E, I, O, U, vowels, all the rest consonants. Let's take a word like chop and have a look at how it ends. Its last three letters are a consonant, H, a vowel, O, and then another consonant, P. So there's one vowel in between two consonants. The same is true of cut, where we've got the vowel U in between the consonants C and T. Or another example is rub. Now, something interesting happens when we add the ending ing to each of these words. Add ing to chop and we get chopping, to cut and we get cutting, and to rub and we get rubbing. Do you see what's happened? The consonant at the end of each of the words has doubled. Some more examples, run plus ing running, a word like trim becomes trimming, Scrap becomes scrapping, like as in I'm scrapping my old car and buying a new one, if only. Anyway, finally, stop becomes stopping, which is what I'm about to do right now. <laughs> Kathleen grew up in the centre of Dublin with three brothers and three sisters. At the time, education was deemed more important for boys than girls as men were regarded as the breadwinners. 
I went to a school with, it's just down the road from here. Come on, Monty, he's a good boy. Because I was a chatty person and got on well with the teachers, instead of teaching me, they were sending me for messages and uh, I was out of class a lot, so I missed a lot of schooling through that. Didn't know, thought it was great. I mean, I could always read, that was no problem, but uh, I didn't uh, have faith in my spelling. When my father was dying, he asked me, he always wrote to my brother and sisters away every week, and he said to me, promise me one thing, Kathleen, you're right to Chris and Ellen. So I said I would. And that's how I started writing, really writing. Oh, Monty. Morning, Terry, how are you? Good morning, how are you? Isn't it a lovely morning? Beautiful morning, isn't it? Oh, look at Beautiful your flowers. Morning. Oh, they're lovely. A leaflet came through the door from Mount Joy Square um, telling how you could learn to read, write and spell. So I took it up and went over and chatted to them and they signed me up and I did it for two years. I was quite surprised that there were so many people there uh, who, who were like myself. Oh, there we are. Oh, they're beautiful. A lot of them were much younger, so I was kind of the granny of the family. <laughs> But however, I didn't mind. Okay, fine. Yeah. There you are. Thank you very much. That's smashing. Over a year ago, a leaflet came through the door uh, from Ballymon and saying that, uh, would you like to learn the computer? And uh, I had a computer my niece gave me. So it was lying there, not in use. And I thought, wonder, could I learn it? I went and I was taken on and uh, I now can send emails. Every day we're bombarded with leaflets and information on everything from takeaway pizzas to evening courses to holidays. Now you could sit down and read through them all one by one, but let's face it, who has the time to do that? So a useful reading tip to get through them quickly is to use a technique called skimming. All skimming means is glancing over something quickly just to get the gist of what it's about. You're looking for keywords, a photo, maybe a drawing, anything that'll give you a general idea. And then, if you think it's of interest, you can read it in more detail. So if you skim through a bunch of leaflets which have come through your letterbox, you can very quickly decide what's worth keeping and what's not. It's pretty obvious that this one's about pizzas from the photo and the word pizza, so if you're not hungry, leave it aside. Holidays, not at this time of year. Courses, adult education. This one might be of more interest to you. If you have a look inside, you can see that the leaflet is divided into different sections. You can use your skimming again to glance through the headings to see what kind of courses are on offer. Ah, computer courses. If you've been thinking of doing one of those, then it's worth hanging on to this leaflet so that you can read into it in more detail later on. Skimming is another one of those reading skills which is very useful to have. It helps you to get a general idea of what something's about without wasting time on information you don't need. And don't forget, if you want to get your guide to read right now, all you've got to do is call Nala on 1800 20 20 65. It's a free phone number to get your free copy of the Read Right Now workbook. 1800 20 20 65. How are you getting on uh, with Very well, Ellen? yeah. I How think are I'm you doing, doing? Well, I'm doing okay. I've never actually kind of chopped properly before, you know. So That's I'm learning it. today yes, as well, you you're see. learning I'm too. Learning today. <laughs> now, I know you're very close to your family as well though, aren't you? I am very, yeah. But you, I'm told that you, you send them emails and I do a lot, and things yeah. Like that. It's brilliant, yeah. I mean, like, I mean, within half an hour they're back. And it's like a little chat, a little chat room, you know. Where, oh, where are they living? Well, my brother and his wife are in Seattle, and my sister is in Annecy in France. Annecy? Annecy in see. France, yeah. Just down for you. Uh, is is that your sister, the nun? The nun, yeah. So she's in the convent over there? She is, she? yeah. So she's sitting, you're sending her emails. So yes, I am. Can I be so France. bold as to ask how old your sister is, the nun? Oh, she would, I, don't, I honestly don't know because she won't tell me. Oh, she won't? She's younger than me. <laughs> she's younger than me, but she will not tell us. So her. she's sitting there in the convent. Yes. And she's going, 
sending That's you right. emails. She is. I mean, that is a great image, isn't, isn't it? Isn't it wonderful? You can see a car doing that in the Irish <laughs> Times or something. The nuns sending emails. Even nuns are sending emails today. Do you know what I'm saying? Indeed. Well, she, they teach them all. <laughs> they teach as well. I, mean, I suppose isn't that the beauty of kind of modern technologies well, and communications? That, yeah, it's wonderful. You know, when, wonderful. You, when you think back to all those years ago. Oh, and you, writing letters. Spending an hour writing a letter. Did you write many letters though? I did, every did week. You? Did you? Yeah. And did you ever have any difficulty writing letters or were you? Um, well, I was, uh, no, I could always um, write, but what, what I, I was uh, short at, it was where to stop and start a new paragraph. You mean punctuation? Maybe, yes. Your punctuation, punctuation yeah. Uh, would be a Diff was difficult for me now, but I learned. Um, so so you were um, letting one idea run into another. Exactly, kind of thing. yeah. And so I've learned all that, and I enjoy writing. The <laughs> only danger, though, with words, if you don't have correct punctuation, right? This is it. Is that they can be misinterpreted. Yes, exactly. And I, that's what I wanted to learn to do. Which do you prefer, can I ask you? Well, I love the emails. <laughs> you like the emails? Why? But if, if, because it's so quick and it's wonderful. The magic of it, I, I'm blown away by it with the computer. I was frightened of it when it was in the house and I wasn't able to use it, so that's why I went to learn. And now I love it. Every day I sit down. I think you have enough chives. I'm, I'm just I was wondering that, how many am I supposed to do? What do I do? Do I just... Just pop them in. Thanks I'll very Jamie, much. Up. I that's think I've lovely. put more of them on the floor. No, you're something. fine. Um, what are we going to do with it then? You're just We're going to mix it up I want to roll it in this um, grease poop paper and uh, we'll put it in the fridge. Do you think that's enough? That's brilliant, that's brilliant. Kathleen's preparation for the meal began a week before the big day. Her initial task put her emailing skills to good use. By sending an email to Catherine at Ballynockin, she was able to organise a day and time for them to meet up. After receiving a confirmation back from Catherine, she made her way to the cookery school to have a look around and discuss a possible menu. Hello. Are you Catherine? I am. Kathleen, is it? Yes, it You're is. You're very welcome to Ballynockin House. Much. Come on in and I'll show you around. Thank you. It's a lovely place. This is the cookery school. This is where you're going to be preparing the meal. And meal. Um, we've done lots here in the cookery school. We've had hen parties and corporate groups and Italian classes. Wonderful. But we're going to cook a typical Wicklow meal for you. Oh, good. Will good. we have a look at a few recipes? Yes, please. Be nice. Here we have the herb crusted rack of Wicklow lamb. Now, Wicklow lamb is wonderful at the moment. Oh, you can't beat Wicklow lamb. I know it's very nice this time oh, of the it's year. Wonderful. And we're going to get certain herbs such as parsley, rosemary, thyme. We're going to chop it very finely and crust it around our rack. Oh, wonderful. We're going to pan fry it and then put our rack in the oven. And with that, then we're going to make a red wine and roasted garlic sauce. Wow. And then we also have, for dessert, poached pears with a rum-flavoured chocolate sauce. Do you think you'll be able to manage that? Delicious, I hope. And I have here a sample menu. I thought you might like to take the disc home and type up your own menu. Oh yeah, that's been nice. Thanks very much. Great. Will we have a look at the herb garden? Yes, please. 